Hello teacher, hello students, welcome to today's lesson on methods of communication. In our previous lesson, we discussed the methods of communication. Particularly, we've discussed about the classification of communication. Let me remind you some of the main points of our previous lesson. Communication is classified as communication by media, by direction, and by degree of formality. Communication by media classifies communication into verbal communication, nonverbal communication, and written communication. Based on the degree of formality, communication can be classified as formal and informal communication. The first two methods of communication have already been discussed in the previous episode. So today's lesson will be focusing on the third method of communication, that is communication by direction. Communication is multidimensional or multidirectional. There are various directions in which it flows. Within the organization, communication may flow upward, downward, horizontal or lateral, one or two-way communication. Let us discuss the direction of communication in organizations using the organization charts. The shape of any organization structure is similar to the shape of a pyramid. This is known as the hierarchy of management. In terms of the hierarchy of management, the pyramid is divided into three levels namely top management, middle management, and operational management. Within this structure, communication takes place. The shape of any organizational structure can be similar to a shape of a pyramid. This is a pyramid which shows the hierarchy of management. The pyramid is divided into three levels. These are top level management, middle level management, and operational management. Now let us start with upward communication. It is communication that flows from bottom to top or which is from lower hierarchical level to higher level. Upward communication is used to provide feedback to higher ups, inform them of progress toward goals, and relay current problems. Upward communication keeps managers aware. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the students sitting next to you. You have two minutes. List examples of upward communication in any specific organization.
Students, have you listed examples of upward communication in any specific organization? Good. Let's now provide you with lists of examples for upward communication in any specific organization so that you can compare your answers. Examples of upward communication include performance reports prepared by lower management for review by middle and top management, suggestion boxes, employee attitude surveys, grievance procedures, superior subordinate discussions, and informal grief sessions in which employees have the opportunity to identify and discuss problems with their boss or representatives of higher management. I hope you are clear with upward communication. Let's proceed to downward communication. What do you think of downward communication? Downward communication is communication that flows from one level of a group or organization to a lower level. Downward communication follows the authority responsibility relationship in the organization chart. Let us see some examples of downward communication. It usually takes the form of giving instructions, directions, assigning duties, or providing information to those delegated to perform a task. Downward communication is used by the managers for the following purposes. Providing feedback on employees' performance, giving job instructions, providing a complete understanding of the employee's job, as well as to communicate with them how their job is related to other jobs in the organization, communicating the organization's mission and vision to the employees, highlighting the areas of attention. The next type of communication is horizontal or lateral communication. Horizontal communication or lateral communication is communication that takes place at same levels of hierarchy in an organization. It would be communication between peers, between managers at same levels, or between any horizontally equivalent organizational members. It is usually coordinative in nature and involves sharing information, resolving conflicts, and solving problems across the organization structure. Horizontal communication has the following advantages. It is time-saving, it facilitates coordination of the task. It facilitates cooperation among team members. It provides emotional and social assistance to the organization. It helps in solving various organizational problems. It is a means of information sharing. And it can also be used for resolving conflicts of a department. Now, I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the students sitting next to you. You have three minutes. Get ready. The question is, why would there be a need for horizontal communications even if an organization's vertical communications are effective.
Students, did you list the reason why there would be a need for horizontal communications even if an organization's vertical communications are effective? Good. Let's now provide why there would be a need for horizontal communications even if an organization's vertical communications are effective so that you can compare your answers. There would be a need for horizontal communications even if an organization's vertical communications are effective because the horizontal communications are often necessary to save time and facilitate coordination. Horizontal communication provides unified vision and direction, accurate feedback, and the ability to implement change effectively. Horizontal communication helps a leader gain control and maintain a level of common purpose. Now let's see a further aspect of direction relation that is whether it is a one-way or two-way communication. When there is no facility for a reply or feedback, it is called one-way communication. It is a communication when the receiver cannot respond to a message. An advertisement or information posted on a notice board is an example of one-way communication. One-way communication within an organization is associated with authoritarian or dictatorial style of leadership. In the authoritarian or dictatorial leadership style, the authority of the leader is being preserved unchallenged. Students, most communication is not one way at all. People speak with one another. They learn from each other or discuss matters. So it becomes two-way communications. Two-way communication is when the receiver can't respond to a message. This confirms that the message has been both received and understood. Now I want you to do the following exercise by yourself. You have two minutes. The question is, what are the advantages of two-way communication in an organization?
Students, have you listed the advantages of two-way communication? Good. Let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare with your answers. The advantages of two-way communication include the following. Feedback built in two-way communication is a feature of democratic leadership style. The facility for feedback is important for ensuring that the message is fully understood and to enable subordinates to contribute to the process of decision-making. Two-way communication would also help to resolve conflicts and promote mutual understanding and respect between the organization and its public. However, it is slower than one-way communication. Let me wind up today's discussion by summarizing the main points. Today, we've learned about the third method of communication, which is communication by direction. We discussed about how an organization's structure influences the communication patterns within the organization. The structure of an organization should provide for communication in four distinct directions. Downward, upward, horizontal, and one or two-way communication. These four directions establish the framework within which communication in an organization takes place. Students, in our next lesson, we will discuss effective formats of business message. This brings us to the end of our lesson today. See you next time in another topic. Until then, goodbye teacher, goodbye students.